Hey everyone, this is Ken, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial, guys, on a brand new speed test. It's going to measure the block per second for any animal that you place on this bad boy. Now, what's great about this, guys, this thing will work on regular players, pigs, horses, or any other mob that you're capable of riding. This thing will measure how fast it's able to run every block per second. Now, I want to try it myself, guys, to see how fast we get this. But the cool thing here is that the second you went through this, it's going to give you an exact measure. It. Now, if I haven't said this earlier, guys, this thing works on the Bedrock and the Java Edition. So not to worry, guys, this will work on all systems. Now, let's try the horse. I just finished on a speed five. Let's see what I get with this bad boy. Now, from the looks of it, it doesn't run too fast, but hopefully just a little faster than me or even the same. Who knows? Let's see. I had a five. He got a six. All right. That is horrendous, especially for a horse. Now, let's check this bad boy and see how fast he goes. Okay, he moves a little faster than the other one. Now, all you have to do, guys, is line it up, haul it right through, and just see what you get. And the great thing is, it's always going to reset the second you activate one of these pressure plates in the front. Like, this one is going at 11 speed. That is so cool. Now, this also comes with a manual reset because it also resets by itself. But if you want to manually reset it, you could do that as well. Now, enough talking, let's jump right into it. Now, before you begin, pause the video and make sure to hit that subscribe button and give this bell a like. All right, let's try to hit at least 300 likes, guys, because you guys are freaking awesome. Now, this gray area represents the 15 block strip of redstone dust and pressure plates that we're going to need. So just to give you an idea of where that's at in case you want to line this up anywhere. Now, to find this, all you have to do is count one, two, three, and then one, two, three, and right there on the fourth one, place a redstone dust, and extend that 15 blocks towards the back. Awesome. Now, once you've done that, add a comparator in the front and make sure it's on subtract mode with a block in front of it. Okay. Once you've done that, add another piece of redstone dust and another comparator on the side and also put that on subtract mode with a block in front of that one. So make sure that both these two comparators are on subtract mode. Now add a redstone dust there and another comparator right there. And that's going to lock in our speed. Now right here, you're going to go one, two, one, and two, add a block and the straight row blocks parallel to that first line of redstone dust that we placed. Now, once you've done that, add a repeater behind each block going forward in this kind of format. And you're going to add 15 pieces of redstone dust right behind it because that's going to be our light indication system. See? Now add a redstone lamp right on top of each block. Awesome. Now once you've done that, you're going to add a comparator right here and right there going forward and place that with a block in the middle. Now let's go back to the front, guys. Go right here, add one, two pieces of redstone dust and one on the side, making this kind of L shape with a block right there. A redstone torch in front. And you're going to add 15 pieces of redstone dust going downwards. Now, once you've done that, add a block on the side, well, in front of it with a redstone torch and add your dropper and a hopper going forward. Now, all you have to do is place one piece of dirt inside and that's it. Now, you're going to place a comparator on the side of that hopper with a repeater and one piece of redstone dust, guys. And this system here would always reset your system. And make sure you add your repeater right here on the side towards that comparator. Now you're going to go back to the front, add a repeater going towards that redstone dust with a block, redstone dust above it, and on top of each one of these redstone dust that we first place, add a block above it. And you're going to add an additional three more blocks in the front. One, two, three. Now all you have to do, guys, is add two pressure plates. That's going to give us our redstone timing. And then 15 more pressure plates parallel that first redstone dust strip that we first laid down. See? And if you want to, guys, you can even add a block on top of that redstone dust with a button, and that's the manual reset. Now, all you have to do at this point is fill up the entire floor with a block of your choice. And there you have it, guys. The design is complete. Make sure to decorate it to your style. And let me know what you think in the comments. And don't forget, guys, to hit that like button. It makes a huge difference. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. Remember to please leave a comment and to click that subscribe button if you want to join. Thank you.